Hooper's Confession. Every Hooper has a story. I started playing basketball when I was like six years old. You know, uh, in my neighborhood, we had like two wooden pieces that we would try to shoot hoops in because I, at that time, my mom would let me go to my apartment and then uh, we just been playing every day, every chance we got. So that's where it all got started, actually. I started really, really taking it serious about sixth grade and that's when I was just playing a lot of local basketball, basketball tournaments. But then the eighth grade, I remember I was in one basketball tournament called Nike Swoosh and uh, I played with one of my friend's uncles and I uh, had a good game, I had a buzzer beater. And then I remember one of the guys coming up to me, he was like, hey, um, we should think about checking out my school because um, you're pretty good and we have a good basketball program. So I thought about that. Yep. Checking it out and I actually liked it. It was called Severian, it was an all boys Catholic school. I played there my freshman year, we won the all freshmen because you know, in Catholic school, they make you play freshmen, so we won that. And then my second year, my sophomore year, I played varsity. And, um, you know, we had team in the city, but I mean, we ended up losing the first round of playoffs and our team wasn't very happy. So a lot of guys was like, you know what? It's time for the transfer. Because I was a sophomore playing varsity, I was like, hey, I'm happy here. But if all of you guys leaving, I'm gonna go to Lincoln. I won two city championships. I won one state. My junior year, my team, we was six in the country. And we was like number one and number two in New York City. Um, we won the city championship that year in the state as well my junior year and then my senior year we put we won just the city but it was great playing with like we had six division one players i played with lance stevenson vincent council and i actually got to play for one of the greatest tiny morton so it was a great experience for me i think that's when i first learned like how to work hard and like the first time i ever used a vertimax and you know he just so knew so much about basketball and getting kids prepared for future like he wanted to see his transcripts and see where where you were at and try to qualify to play division one division two whatever it was because he wanted the kids to be successful in basketball so i think it was a good decision that i left severe i was a sophomore i played a little bit i played actually one tournament au i played with gauchos he was four, 14 and under in the peach jam we actually won it and the 16 year old team won actually too the, the good experience you no know, both team won the the tournament but i didn't play any au that, again that season one full season au and that was my junior year one like three au tournaments uh we probably would have won another one if we didn't get in trouble and kicked out in the semifinals of rumble in the bronx first got to high school i really didn't know much about basketball i just played i didn't have a when i got to severian they made me play center because i was just tallest and i learned that I, that's when i first learned how to play with backs to the basket and learn all my post moves and then you know when i transferred to lincoln tiny wanted us to be all around basketball players so that's where i learned you know just my instincts and i became more athletic because of vertimax and jumping with the heavy ropes and we did a lot of hard work and conditioning some stuff that i never did before when i was a junior like i said i was in the first year i played a full aau season and we won two tournaments uh, i got a couple mvps and a lot of schools recruit me i think i was getting recruited by every school eight out of the 12 schools in the acc and 10 out of the 16 schools in the Big East at the time. So I got a, recruited by a lot of big schools. It was even one time when um, a school, because I was a homebody and I didn't really like traveling much. So one school came and visited me from about seven hours away on the plane. And I was like, you came here to see me? I was like, yeah, you got, don't come back here. That's a little bit too far. But I was just so oblivious to the whole recruitment process. But the recruitment process was, it was, it was a headache because you know, you hear from coaches all day. They call you, they wanna to speak to your mom. They wanna see how you're doing. They wanna send you text messages. I was ready to commit early. I was gonna to commit to University of Pittsburgh. And uh, my top five schools was University of Pittsburgh, Maryland, West Virginia, St. John's, and Providence. Those were my top five schools when I was a senior. So funny story, when I was a junior, I was ready to commit to go to University of Pittsburgh. I, mean, I think a lot of coaches knew that and a lot of just the recruiting people. So my recruiting started to slow down a little bit. But um, so when you're a senior, you allow five official visits. And um, you know, me being a homebody, I didn't really want to go to Duo 5. I was going to go to Pittsburgh and then I was going to go to Maryland because I wanted to go to Pittsburgh, but Maryland was also my second choice. So last moment, I flip-flopped my visits and I put Pittsburgh second and Maryland first. So I went to Maryland, it was a good visit, you know, great teammates, great atmosphere. The campus was amazing. It looked like one of those campuses you see in a movie. So it was just unbelievable. And so when I came back from my Maryland visit, I think that same weekend, it was like the fifth commit from the University of Pittsburgh. And I was like, that's a little bit too many people in the same recruiting class for me. So I just go to Maryland. What is your Hooper story? Share and inspire.